Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, I, I know a lot of people are excited or happy because uh, just get rid of that bum, Dan Quinn. He's a bum. We don't need him. Get you know, get, go get Bill Belichick and everything else. But like Jane Slater ended up. T tweeting out here i'm gonna have to agree with her and you guys have heard me say this on numerous occasions that the grass isn't always greener on the other side and as james later said you guys are gonna miss dan quinn some of you really forgot what mike molin's mike nolan's year looked like i told you what it looked like that play by odell beckham jr uh, where the Cowboys, I think we ended up coming back. We had like 200 and some odd yards in offense. We were down by three points. All we needed was a stop because the Cowboys offense was unstoppable. And here it was a reverse to Odell Beckham Jr. That literally was the worst fundamental play I've ever seen in my life. You know, Alden Smith was kind of took a lazy banana route trying to tackle him. You had guys literally running out of bounds. Jalen Smith is doing a banana route in pursuit. And he goes all the way and ends up putting a dagger in the chances of winning that game. That's how bad this team was. Xavier Woods looked like he was a lead blocker for the offenses. Uh, I remember D-Law literally saying, we're soft like Charmin. And then we bring in Dan Quinn and we turn it around. Was it perfect? No, but I can't look across. When I look across and I see uh, San Francisco's defense, where you see a Nick Bosa, an Armstead, uh, a Hargrave, um, you know, a uh, 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 Chase Young and stuff out there, and a Fred Warner at linebackers and stuff. When you see guys like that on a defense versus what we had up front, you understand, we ain't, we, these things aren't alike. But anyway, here was my fear of what was going to happen. I jumped the gun a little bit. I got ahead of myself on um, coming up the road with um, the Al Harris news. I misread as a tweet came across my screen there um, that Al Harris was going to be named. I'm, people are, you know, digs wants to see him named as defensive coordinator. The problem is, is Dan Quinn has got to fill out his coaching staff and he's going to go for players. He knows we know Al Harris is a guy who said that he definitely will follow in whatever capacity that Dan Quinn needs. We had heard rumors that Joe Witt was going to go uh, with him to Seattle to be the defensive coordinator. Well, he's not going to Seattle because Dan Quinn didn't get that job, but he's being named as the defensive coordinator for the Washington Commanders. So that's another piece that's right here. Um, Durson, our defensive line, has been interviewing with a couple of teams, and you got to figure that Al Harris, if he does not get a promotion with the Cowboys, would probably go with uh, Dan Quinn. Now, we're also hearing that Ron Rivera is going to be setting up an interview with the Cowboys for defensive coordinator. So, Riverboat Ron, he will be coming in for a look-see. Riverboat Ron, okay? So, be careful what you ask for. You might just get it. Now, in Ron Rivera's defense, I will say Ron Rivera, who was part of the 85 Bears defense, and I need, I need to wet my whistle here. It should be alcohol, but no. Just a cranberry lime polar water. Riverboat Ron, part of the 85 Bears, is a good defensive mind. And sometimes um, having a guy... As a defensive court, or as a coordinator, they're better as a coordinator than a head coach because the two jobs are not the same. And you, you know, commander fans are right now pissed off. I've seen a few commanders that are like, after all this, this is what we got. You know, Dan Quinn, he got that team to the Super Bowl and they choked. They literally were ass ass. And I'm just sitting there thinking, like, from where I sit at the moment, 
if the Cowboys got to the Super Bowl and lost, I wouldn't be happy that we lost, but I'd be happy at least we got further. At least we could stop hearing about can't get past the divisional round or can't get past the NFC Championship game. That's a lot better than what we've had. Uh, and Commanders, <laughs> I got to say, that's a lot better than you've had as well. So <sighs> it's going to be what's going to be. The question will be is, are the Dallas Cowboys now going to – basically start all over with a new defensive coordinator end up bringing in his crew or is this going to be dallas cowboys um typical work where it's going to be i'm going to pick the uh assistants and things like that and the new defensive coordinator you're hired to be defensive coordinator and you're going to coach with the guys we tell you to coach or if he's going to have latitude like it seemed like dan quinn had at bringing in certain guys I would hate to lose Al Harris, but I'm afraid that he is going to be part of the team's uh, coordinators getting gutted. I just do. And this is one of the ones. Um, this is one of those ones that I, I hope that the Cowboys have been thinking about this for more. Um, you know, like I said, Diggs, he definitely wants Harris for defensive coordinator. Um Uh, I, I, I just don't know. We just don't know. Um, another issue, Cowboys players like Al Harris and Durson. You want growing pans of a rookie defensive coordinator? If you hire Ron Rivera, Jerry's going to make him run uh, Dan Quinn staff or build on his own. This is for Mike Fisher. Can Dallas survive this? Yeah. That, 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 this, that's my, my point right here is, do you bring in somebody else to coach somebody else's guys? Do you elevate a young guy and have the learning curve of um, Al Harris being the defense coordinator? You know, that's where the Eagles learned. They had some problems with their coordinators. They were too young and didn't, didn't necessarily know what they were doing. They weren't experienced yet. That's not to say they won't later on. Or do you bring in a new guy and ha bring in all new coaches with it? I wish I had the answer for it. I really wish I did, but I don't. Uh, in the meantime, we're just going to keep on doing it and see. We're going to have to kick back, relax, and see what we see and see how it goes. Um, I'm actually here working on, ah, I got my new phone, and it is moving all of my old data off my old phone to this phone. And let's see how far are we. Wow, it's actually downloaded, downloaded all my stuff off my own phone in about 20 minutes. Your apps will sync when we back up so they can stay up to date with your Samsung device. Wow, this thing, this thing is fast. I can't wait. My new Galaxy Ultra S24. Damn. 